Hey, my brothers and sisters in Christ, we are back for another Bible study. I'm sorry about the hood, but I'm kind of cold. My head's cold because I shaved my head the other day, so please, please bear with me. I know it's disrespectful to teach the Word of God or pray or do anything with your head covered, the Bible says. But God knows my heart, <clears throat> and He knows that I would never, ever disrespect Him. And, uh, I'm not praying at the moment. If I was, I would take my hood down. But since I'm just teaching the Word of God, I should be okay. But if I pray, I, w I will take my hood down. Now, we're gonna, we were in the book of Acts, and we didn't complete it yet. But, uh, I've been studying personally in the book of Proverbs and Psalms. And it's very, in the Proverbs and Psalms is the books of wisdom by King Solomon and King David. And uh, we're just going to read Proverbs. So I hope you guys are doing well. Let's get right into it. The book of Proverbs. By the son of David, King Solomon. Chapter 1. Old Testament. But still good for studying. The Proverbs of Solomon, the son of David, King of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice, and judgment and equity, equity, to give subtility to the simple, to the young man knowledge and discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain to wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation, the words of the wise and their dark sayings. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. My son, hear the instruction of thy father, and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head, and chains about thy neck. My son, if sinners entice thee, consent not thou not. If they say, Come with us, let us lay and wait for blood, let us lurk privily for the innocent without cause. Let us swallow them up alive as the grave, and whole as those that go down into the pit, the pit of hell. We shall find all precious substance, we shall fill our, our houses with spoil. Cast in thy lot among us, let us all have one purse. My son, walk not thou in thy way with them. Refrain thy foot from their path, for their feet run to evil and make haste to shed blood. Surely in vain the net is spread in the sight of the, any bird. And they lay wait for their own blood, they lurk privily for their own lives. So are the ways of every one that is greedy of gain, which taketh away the life of the owners thereof. Wisdom crieth without, she uttereth her voice in the streets. She crieth in the chief places of concourse. In the openings of the gates in the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? And the scorners delight in their scorning, and fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you, because I have called, and ye refused. I have stretched out my hand, and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. <clears throat> Correction, reproof. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh, when your fear cometh as a desolation, and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but, I, but they shall not find me. For they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They would none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof and correction. Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of the fools of fools shall destroy them. <clears throat> but whoso hearkeneth, which means listens, but whoso listens unto me shall dwell safely and shall be quiet from fear of evil. <clears throat> chapter 2 my son if thou wilt receive my words and hide my commandments with thee 
so that thou incline thy ear unto wisdom, which means listening to wisdom, to God's wisdom, not our wisdom, and apply thine heart to understanding. Yea, if thou criest after knowledge, and liftest up thy voice for understanding, if thou seekest her as silver, searchest for her as for hid treasures, searchest for her as ye would for hidden treasures, then shalt thou understand the fear of the Lord, and find knowledge of God. For the Lord giveth wisdom, out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. He layeth up sound wisdom for the righteous. He is a buckler to them that walk uprightly. He keepeth the paths of judgment, and preserveth the way of his saints. Then shalt thou understand righteousness, and judgment, and equity, yea, every good path. When wisdom entereth into thine heart, and knowledge is pleasant unto thy soul, discretion shall preserve thee, understanding shall keep thee, to deliver thee from the way of the evil man, from the man that speaketh froward things, who leave the paths of the uprightness, to walk in the ways of darkness, who rejoice to do evil, and delight in the frowardness of the wicked, whose ways are crooked, and they froward in their paths, to deliver thee from the strange woman, even from the stranger, which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the guide of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God. For her house inclineth unto death, and her pass unto the dead. None that go unto her return again, neither take thy hold of thy pass of life, of the pass of life, that thou mayest walk in the way of a good man, and keep the pass of the righteous. For the upright shall dwell in the land, and the perfect shall remain in it. But the wicked shall be cut off from the earth, and the transgressors shall be rooted out of it. Chapter 3 My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. For length of days and long life and peace shall, be add, shall they add to thee. Let not mercy and truth forsake thee. Bind them about thy neck. Write them upon the table of your heart. So shalt thou find favor and good understanding in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto your own understanding. So don't lean on your own understanding. Lean on the word of God. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Humble yourselves and he shall lift you up. It shall be health to thy navel and marrow to thy bones. Honor thy Lord with all thy substance. And with the first fruits of all thine increase, so shall thy barns, thy barns be filled with plenty, and thy presses shall burst out with new wine. My son, despise not the chastening of the Lord, neither be weary of his correction. For whom the Lord loveth, he correcteth, even as a father the, the son in whom he delighteth. Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver, and the gain thereof than fine gold. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. The length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. We're talking about understanding. This is how important understanding is to have, and wisdom. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her, and happy is every one that retaineth her. The Lord by wisdom hath founded the earth, by understanding hath he established the heavens. By his knowledge the depths are broken up, and the clouds drop down the dew. My son, let not them depart from thine eyes, keep sound wisdom and discretion. So shall they be life unto thy soul, and grace unto thy neck. Then shalt thou walk in the way safely, and thy foot shall not stumble. When thou liest down, and thou shalt not be afraid, yea, thou shalt lie down, and thy sleep shall be sweet. Be not afraid of sudden fear, neither of the desolation of the wicked when it cometh. For the Lord shall be thy confidence, and, thou, and shall keep thy foot from being taken. Withhold not good from them to whom it is due, when it is in the power of thine hand to do it. Say not unto thy neighbor, Go and come again, and tomorrow I will give when you have it beside thee. Devise not evil against your neighbor, seeing he dwelleth securely by you. Strive not with a man without cause, if he hath done thee no harm, 
Envy thou not the oppressor, and choose none of his ways. For the froward is an abomination to the Lord, but his secret is with the righteous. The curse of the Lord is in the house of the wicked, but he blesseth the habitation of the just. Surely he scorneth the scorners, but he giveth grace unto the lowly, unto the humble, unto the lowly in spirit, the contrite spirit. The wise shall inherit glory, but shame shall be the promotion of fools. Chapter 4 Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend, and attend to no understanding. For I give you good doctrine, forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also, and said unto me, let thine heart retrain, retain my words, and keep my commandments, and live. Get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from thy words of thy mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all thy wisdom, and I mean, and with all thy getting, get understanding. And we know wisdom is... Uh, fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and with all thy wit, with all thy wisdom, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. She shall bring thee to honor when thou dost her embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, a crown of glory. Shall she deliver to thee? Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be many. I have taught thee in the way of the wisdom. I have led thee in the right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not stumble. Take fast hold of instruction, let her not go. Keep her, for she is thy life. Enter not into the path of the wicked, and go not in the way of evil men. Avoid it, pass not by it, turn from it, and pass away. For they, for they sleep, not except they have done mischief. And their sleep is taken away unless they cause someone to fall. For they eat the bread of wickedness and drink the wine of violence. But the path of the just is as shining light that shineth more and more unto the perfect day. The way of the wicked is, at, is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear unto thy, my sayings. Let them not depart from thine eyes. Keep them in the midst of thine heart. For they are life unto thee, unto those that find them, and health to all their flesh. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a froward mouth, and preserve, and perverse lips put far away from thee. Let thine eyes look right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand nor to the left. Remove thy foot completely from evil. Chapter 5 My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow thine ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. For the lips of a strange woman drop as in honeycomb, and her mouth is smoother than oil. But her end is bitter as wormwood, sharp as the two-edged sword. Her feet go down to death, her steps take hold of hell, lest thou should, shouldest ponder the path of life. Her ways are movable, that thou canst not know them. Hear me now, therefore, O ye children, and depart not from thy words of my mouth. Remove thy way far from her, and come not, not nigh the door of her house. Lest thou give thine honor unto others, and thy years unto the cruel. Lest strangers be filled with thy wealth, and thy labors be in the house of a stranger. And thou mourn at the last, when thy flesh and thy body are consumed. And say, How have I hated instruction, and my heart despised correction. Reproof. And have not obeyed the voice of my teachers, and inc nor inclined my ear to them that instructed me. I was almost in all evil in the midst of the congregation and assembly. Drink waters out of thine own cistern, 
and running waters out of thine own well. Let thy fountains be dispersed abroad, and rivers of waters in the streets. Let them be only thine own, and not strangers with thee. Let thy fountain be blessed, and rejoice with the wife of thy youth. Let her be as the loving hind, and pleasant roe. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times, and be thou ravished always with her love. And, thy, and why wilt thou, my son, be ravished with a strange woman, and embrace the bosom of a stranger? For the ways of, a, of man are before the eyes of the Lord, and he pondereth all his goings. His own iniquity shall take the wicked himself, and he shall be holden with the cords of his sins. He shall die without instruction, and in his greatness of his fully he shall go astray. Chapter 6. Alright, this is the King James Version, which I study personally. But I listen to an audio Bible that reads to me because I stutter real bad. So I personally think you should... Uh, in my own opinion, in my own opinion, the King James Version is the best to study because it's the closest to the original Hebrew. It's it's translated directly from the original Hebrew, and uh, but I'm gonna switch to the New King James Version. So it's the New King James Version version, and uh, just for reading, so I don't stutter as bad. But if I'm studying it personally myself, when I'm listening to it out loud, I would rather listen to the King James Version. But that's between you and God, so pray about it. Chapter 6. My son, if you become surety for your friend, if you have shaken hands and pledged for a stranger, you are snared by the words of your mouth. You are taken by the words of your mouth. So do this, my son. And deliver yourself, for you have come into the hand of your friend. Go and humble yourself. Plead with your friend. Give no sleep to your eyes, nor slumber to your eyelids. Deliver yourself like a, like a gazelle, like a gazelle, from the hand of the hunter, and like a bird from the hand of a, of the fowler. Go to the ant, you sluggard. Consider her ways and be wise, which having no captain, overseer, or ruler provides her supplies in the summer, and gathers her food in the harvest. How long will you slumber, O sluggard? When will you rise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to sleep. So, so shall your poverty come on you like a prowler, and your need like an armed man. A worthless person, a wicked man, walks with a perverse mouth. He winks with his eyes, he shuffles his feet, he points his fingers. Perversity is in his heart. He devises evil continually. He sows discord, therefore he, his calamity shall come suddenly. Suddenly he shall be broken without remedy. These six things the Lord hates. Yes, seven are an abomination to him. A proud look, a lying tongue, hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that are swift to running into evil, a false witness who speaks lies, and one who sows discord among brethren. My son, keep your father's command and do not forsake the law of your mother. Bind them continually upon your heart. Tie them around your neck. When you roam, they will lead you. When you sleep, they will keep you. And when you awake, they will speak with you. For the commandment is a lamp and the law is a light. Reproofs of instruction are, what are the way of life. To keep you from, evil, from the evil woman, from the flattering tongue of a seductress. Do not lust after her beauty in your heart, nor let her allure you with her eyelids. For by means of a harlot a man is reduced to a crust of bread, and an adulteress will prey upon his precious life. Can a man take fire to his bosom and his clothes not be burned? Can one walk on hot coals and his feet not be seared? So is he who goes into his neighbor's wife. Whoever touches her shall be not be innocent. People do not despise a thief if he steals to satisfy himself when he is starving. Yet when he is found, he must restore sevenfold. He may have to give all the substance of his house. Whoever commits adultery with a woman lacks understanding. He who does, t he who does so destroys his own soul. Wounds and dishonor he will get, and his reproach will, be, will not be wiped away, for jealousy is a husband's fury. Therefore he will not spare in the day of vengeance. He will... Accept no recompense, nor will he be appeased, though you give many gifts. Chapter 7. 
My son, keep my words and treasure my commands within you. Keep my commands and live, and my law is the apple of your eye. Bind them on your fingers, write them on your tablet of your heart. Say to wisdom, you are my sister, and call understanding your, kin's, your uh, nearest kin, that they may keep you from the immoral woman, from the seductress who flatters with her words. For at the window of my house I looked through my lattice, my lattice and saw among the simple, I perceived among the youths a young man devoid of understanding passing along the street near her corner, and he took the path to her house, in the twilight in the evening and the black and dark night, and there a woman met him with the attire of a harlot and a crafty heart. She was loud and rebellious, her feet would not stay at home. At times she was outside it, at time, times in the open square, lurking at every corner. So she caught him and kissed him, with an impudent face, she said to him, I have peace offerings with, you, with me. Today I have paid my vows, so I came out to meet you diligently to seek your face, and I have found you. I have spread my bed with tapestry-colored coverings of Egyptian linen. I have perfumed my bed with mere aloes and cinnamon. Come, let us take our fill of love until morning. Let us delight ourselves with love, for my husband is not at home. He has gone on a long journey he has taken a bag of money with him, and he will come home on the appointed day. With her enticing speech, she was caused him to yield. With her flattering lips, she seduced him. Immediately he went after her, as an ox goes to the slaughter, or as a fool to the correction of the stocks, till an arrow struck his liver. As a bird hastens to the snare, he did not know it would cost his life. Now, therefore, listen to me, my children. Pay attention to the words of, thy mouth, of my mouth. Do not let your heart turn aside to her ways. Do not stray into her paths, for she has cast down many wounded. And all who were slain by her were strong men. Her house is, in the, way, is the way to hell, descending to the chambers of death. Chapter 8. Man, I don't know if I'll be able to read one more without the video cutting off. It's getting close. I'm going to try it. But if it does cut off, please uh, watch this video, share it, and subscribe, please, if you haven't done so. And I love you, and God bless you. Chapter 8. Does not wisdom cry out, and understanding lift up her voice? She takes her stand on the top of, a high, of the high hill. Beside the way where the paths meet, she cries out by the gates at the entry of the city, at the entrance of the doors. To you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of men. O oh, you simple ones, understand prudence, and you fools, be of an understanding heart. Listen, for I will speak of excellent things, and from the opening of my lips will come right things. For my mouth will speak truth. Wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are with, that, are with righteousness. Nothing crooked or perverse is in them. They are all plain to him who understands, and right to those who find knowledge. Receive my instruction, and not silver and knowledge rather than choice gold. For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things one may desire cannot be compared with her. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence, and find out knowledge and discretion. The fear of the Lord is to hate evil. So the fear of the Lord is to hate evil. Pride and arrogance in the evil way. In the perverse mouth I hate. Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and rulers decree justice. By me, princes rule, and nobles, all the judges of the earth. I love those who love me, and those who seek me diligently will find me. Riches and honor are with me, enduring riches and righteousness. My fruit is better than gold, yes, than fine gold, and my revenue than choice silver. I traverse the way of the righteousness, in the midst of the paths of justice, that I may cause those who love me to inherit wealth, that I may fill their treasuries. The Lord possessed me at the beginning of his way. Before his works of old, I have been established from everlasting, from the beginning before there was ever an earth. When there, was no, when there were no depths, I was brought forth. When there were no fountains abounding with water, before the mountains were settled, before the hills, I was brought forth. While as yet he had met, not made the earth or the fields, or the primal dust of the world, when he prepared the heavens, I was there. When he drew a circle on the face of the deep, when he established the clouds above, when he strengthened the fountains of the deep, 
when he assigned the sea to its limit, so that the waters would not transgress his commandment. When he marked out the foundations of the earth, then I was beside him as a master craftsman. And I was daily in his delight, rejoicing always before him, rejoicing in his inhabited world. And my delight was with the sons of men. Now therefore listen to me, my children. For blessed are those who keep my ways, hear instruction, and be wise, and do not disdain it. Blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my gates, waiting at my posts and my doors. For whoever finds me finds life, and obtains favor from the Lord. But he who sins against me wrongs his own soul. All those who hate me love death. Chapter 9. We'll start in ch So we'll start in chapter 9 tomorrow. I love you guys. God bless you. Thank you for your prayers. Keep pre Please keep praying for me and my family and President Trump and his family and all the lawyers and judges and witnesses that are helping and fighting with him and for him. Pray for this nation and our democracy and our freedom. And just pray for all of God's children and that all the sinners may come to repentance before it's too late. Please share this video and subscribe if you haven't done so. I love you guys. God bless you. See you tomorrow. Have a good night.